he had to quit marathon running because his testosterone was so low that the doctors were like, we need a medical intervention. Here. You're losing bone mass. Your heart is at risk here. Like you're gonna break a bone. I was just the person I was like, oh, there's no way it's low. They say you want to touch it max once every two weeks. Crossfitters are doing it every day. Food fitness is doing it every single day. Just gonna be talking about the things you can do to fix low testosterone and it's not injecting. <laughs> Increasing your, your cardio, aerobic work, does lower testosterone. Mm. Uh, yeah, again, I'm not, not sure what the mechanism is, but there's been uh, infinite anecdote, anecdotes yeah. I could tell you from ourselves, from people that I know, from other podcasts that I listen to, marathon runners, they all have lower testosterone. One, and, so. and I'd say even with the cardio, definitely as well, it's obviously the chronic amounts of it. So the more can be worse if you're doing an hour, two hours a day. Also can be, like I think, very high intensity cardio can have the effect when you like absolutely obliterate yourself like yeah. we did during CrossFit multiple yeah. times a week. Even though the, t the whole time duration of, of cardio maybe wasn't that significant, the intensity was just through the roof. Yeah, it's pretty common people that are like overdo it in cardio. Here we go. High volume endurance exercise will reduce testosterone levels by 20 to 40%. This finding is also present in women who participate in high volume uh, endurance activities and have subsequent uh, menstrual irregularities. Yeah, so... It's not just cardio, it's too much cardio, yes. which is pretty easy for people to overdo. I think the recommendation for cardio, I know Huberman likes 150 minutes a week of zone two, which is heart rate between kind of like 140 and 160. It's like talking, talking pace cardio. I mean, think about that high intensity stuff. Most of the people, most of the experts in the world say, you want to touch that, it's zone five mm. top, or zone four, the top zone, heart rate over like 90%. They say you want to touch it max once every two weeks. And CrossFitters are doing it every day. Yeah. Group fitness is doing it every single day. It's and gonna I, crush your testosterone. I'd also just keep in mind, it's so easy to like look at the exceptions of people that tolerate it really well, clearly don't have any of these signs of symptoms, but there's just a huge variety in um, how resilient people are to this. Yeah. And there's gonna be outliers that can do a ton of cardio and their hormones are untouched. Of course. Or maybe they naturally high, had extremely high testosterone to begin with, and it's very resilient, so it only brings them down to like above average levels. Well, I know, um, so it was on Nick Bear's performance podcast. He was interviewing America's, I, th I think, national champion in the marathon and na national champion like four years in a row. Yeah. So it's like best marathon runner in, in the US, obviously on, on a world scale, it's pretty far down. Um, but he had to quit marathon running because his testosterone was so low. Wow. And there was, it was so low that the doctors were like, we need like a medical intervention mm. here. Like you're losing bone mass. Your heart is at risk here. Like he was losing muscle mass every day. It's like, you're just leaking calcium out of your bones into your system. Like you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna break a bone mm. out of here. Uh, and he's like, I just couldn't continue. My body just couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. Uh, and obviously if he was to inject testosterone, which he had to start doing, he would be banned from the sport, yeah. right? He'd be, he'd be cheating. So really he should have just had a better doctor to help him get around the testing. But he wanted, he wanted to, uh, he wanted to sleep well at night, live with himself. So yeah, he had to quit marathon running. So. Uh, reducing cardio again i think yeah good a good amount is yeah if you go for a, you know th two 30 minute runs in a week or an hour bike or something like it's a good amount of cardio yeah. you know to be healthy thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed that clip if you want to watch another clip from this episode you can go right here and if you want to watch the full thing unedited you can go right here